Yo, yo, what is up, guys? It's BROC here, and this is my little ro mod review of Pixelmon. This is the first episode. It's gonna be called, well, the series is called The Poke Lab, or something like that. I can't remember. But yeah, so basically, guys, this is the first episode is going to be on machines and aluminium stuff like that so first of all I'm just gonna go through the type of machines and things you get so first there's the healer and in a minute I will go outside and do a demonstration on how to make them so first of all we've got the healer which if you play any of the Pokemon games on DS which I'm assuming you have because they're all amazing um, these heal your Pokemon if they're damaged or dead Next we've got the PC, which is where you can store all of your Pokemon. But because I've just made a quick makeshift world, <laughs> I've got no Pokemon apart from uh, you'll see in a minute. And next we've got the Fossil Cleaner. And again, if you've played the Pokemon game, then you'll know what Fossil is, and you'll know what magical things you can do with them. And this basically cleans the Fossil so you know what it is. Next we have got the actual fossil machine itself. This baby here, right here is the thing that makes um, the fossils come to life. And then we've got the trading machine here, but I had no idea how to make it. I don't think you can make it, I don't think you can spawn it in. And here we've got a Pokemon Anvil, which is completely different to the normal Anvil. And I will come back to these in a minute, I'm just going to go outside and show you how to make them. So, first of all, oh. Okay guys, and we are back from that very annoying battle which I very didn't want to do. But that is a demonstration of a force battle which are very annoying sometimes. Uh, so yeah, this is, um, now I'm going to show you the amount of items you are going to need. Oh, hello Mew. Um, that's going to be the new professor. Okay? Um, in the comments down below I want you to name him and what you think you should name him. So now I'm going to show you um, how many items you'll need and what items you'll need. You're going to need 12 iron ingots, which if you play Minecraft you'll know how to get. Um, aluminium, 28 aluminium plates, which this is going to be a bit tough. But this is to make all of the machines and um, everything else. You're going to need one diamond, eight glass panes, one obsidian. 8 redstone, 1 redstone lamp, 3 water buckets, and 2 sticks. But these are optional, um, but you're going to have to have them. Well, that didn't make any sense, but um, yeah. 2 sticks for your hammer. Which didn't sound right at all. Um, so now I'm going to show you um, how to. Well, that was another fail. How to do. Um, how to, uh, how to make the aluminium plates. So um, first what you're going to need to do, you're going to need to find one bauxite ore, which are found underground in caves, um, can't remember what level they are, but level they are found at. So what you're going to do is you're going to smelt this, and as you can see it's the exact same smelting time as a normal um, iron ore, gold ore, um, anything like that. And that gives you one alum aluminium ingot. I keep on saying aluminium. I, I, <laughs> so the next, what you're going to need to do is you're going to get your. So this is the order it goes in. So you're going to need one bauxite ore, a furnace, and then now you've got your alu aluminium ingot. You're going to want to turn it into an aluminium plate. So what you're going to need to do for this, you're going to need the hammer, which I'll show you how to make right now. Hopefully I don't get any false battles. This is how you make a hammer, but you don't have to make it out of diamond. It could be out of anything apart. Yeah, but I think um, if you can make it out of iron and diamond, because they are the best things that work. Or you can get like a level 30 enchantment stone and it'll be the same. Uh, so how you, this is how you make it, it's uh, five diamonds on two sticks like normal minecraft and that gives you a diamond hammer. So let's zoom back over to here quickly. 
Right, so now you're probably wondering, like, oh, what do I do with the aluminium ingot? So what you're going to do is you're going to put it on your, um, hello, Raptor Tessa. You're going to put it on your anvil, but this isn't a normal anvil. This is a Pokemon anvil, which I will show you here. It is eight, um, sorry, I had to count there, <laughs> eight iron ingots, three at the bottom, three at the top, two in the middle. That gives you a Pokemon anvil, okay? What you're going to do with the Pokemon anvil is you're going to get your um, aluminium ingot. You're going to right click the Pokemon anvil, okay? That places it down. Now, what you're going to do now is you're going to hold down left click with your hammer, okay? And you're going to wait for it to turn square. When it turns square, you know it's ready. And then what you do now, it, you right click. And then that gives you your aluminium plate. So I'm just going to throw that back in here. So this is just a reminder. Um, okay, so right here, right now we're going to go on to the healer, which I have just showed you. So to make this healer, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get four aluminium plates, four iron. Wait, is that four? Yeah, four iron ingots and one diamond. If you put it in this shape, it will give you a healer. Healers are what I showed you earlier, pretty much. So yeah, that's the first recipe. The second recipe, we are going on to the fossil cleaner. And this is, you have to have one of these if you're going to incubate your fossils. Wait, incubate? No. Well, whatever. You could, this is what you use to clean your fossils. You're going to need six aluminium uh, plates. You're going to need two redstone uh, dust and one glass whatever they're called um i can't remember and that gives you <laughs> the um cleaner and this is this is probably the hardest thing to make um but i do recommend pausing um <laughs> pausing this and uh, to make it what you're going to need is you're going to need to make your fossil top fossil bottom fossil tube and your machine thingy can't remember what it's called sorry so the, what you need to make the fossil top the fossil machine top is you're going to need five. I think that's five. Yeah, I've got I'm terrible at maths. Um, five aluminium plates again. That I you, you need like 27 aluminium plates. Um, and then you're going to need one redstone dust in this order, and then that will give you the top. And then to make the like, it's called the tank. I think you're going to need three water buckets um, and six glass panes there we go glass panes um, that will give you the middle bit and then this is the bottom you're going to need six aluminium um, plates so you're going to go one two three one two three and that gives you the bottom and then this is the I can't I still can't remember what it's called um, I'll probably put like um, writing on the screen now um, you're going to need four redstone dust and one, uh, what's it called, uh, obsidian. This gives you the thing that makes the fossil machine come to life. And this is probably the most expensive thing because it's, I think, four or five stages. And this is the PC. This is where you store all your Pokemon. So you're going to need three aluminium plates on this side, three on this side, um, seven in total, one in the middle. You're going to want a glass pane, and you want your redstone dust, and that will give you your PC. So now we're going to move on to the Pokemon Anvil, which I showed you earlier, and it is crucial for all of the Pixelmon. So try and get one of these as uh, quick as possible, because you need one of these to make Pokeballs, which will be in the next episode. So what you do is you put three iron on the bottom, three iron on the top, two in the middle. That gives you that. I, th I think I actually showed you earlier. I have got such bad memory. These dead battling go away drowsy, no one likes you. <laughs> um I'm only joking, I love you drowsy. And then you're gonna want two sticks and then diamonds which I showed you this earlier, hundred percent showed you this earlier. And now we're going to because I've showed you the fossil machine, now we are going to go and see one in action. So what we're gonna do search game mode zero. Oh yeah, that was right. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here into our makeshift Pokemon base 
and these are what they look like. So this is the healer I showed you earlier, just to remind a PC, fossil cleaner, fossil machine, trading machine, and bill. <gasps> that was a long breath. Okay, right, so to what you're gonna need to find is to in order to get a fossil, you're going to have to be on levels twenty to fifty underground and the way you, it has to be between twenty and fifty and if you if you find a patch of gravel gravel try and mine it up and then um so occasionally they are pretty rare to find though you will find a fossil block i think you have to have um iron or up to mine this so what we're going to do now is we're just going to place it down and we're going to mine it with our diamond pickaxe and then that gives you um a covered fossil and then what you do with this is you put it in your pokemon cleaner and then that will clean it, and I think it will pop out, I'm not sure. But, um, I think that takes about 30 seconds, something. So, I will come back when it's done. Okay, and it's done, guys. So, now what you do is you right-click, and then you get your fossil. And then now, I have a cuff I've got a Tortuga. And then what I do with this is I put, ah, I'm going to need a Pokeball for this. Um, so... Okay, um, so now what you do with this is you right click with the fossil machine and then that puts it in and this is going to turn it into the Pokemon. This is going to take a while so I will be back guys. Okay, okay and welcome back guys. Um, as we left off this is the last part of the fossil machine and when it gets to 100% you right click and you got your Pokemon. So yeah. This is my Tortuga, which I just got from the fossil. And um, all fossil Pokemon start off at level 1. And this is so cute. Um, I think Tortuga is actually one of my favourite Pokemon, to be honest. Um, so yeah. Oh, hello Drowsy, how are you? Um, so yeah, this is Tortu Tortuga. And I didn't mention this before, but if you press O... Oh yeah, let's just go through the basics. Um, to throw out a Pokemon, what you do is you press R. And then to scroll up and down your Pokemon list, you press like these weird like square thingies. I'll put a picture of them on the screen. And um, if you press those, you find your Pokemon and we'll, we'll send out Doctor, whatever his name is. I made him shiny, by the way. Um, and then to retrieve them. And then if you press O, if you as you can see on the left hand side, if you press O, it brings out their level, their eight, the um, HP and stuff, and their name. And I'm also gonna show you then how to rename your Pokemon. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna press E, go into your inventory. You're gonna hover over the Pokemon you want. So let's rename Portuga. You're gonna right click. You're gonna go to summary. And then if you can see here, you've got a big picture of them. Hello Mr. Tortuga. And then what you can do is you're gonna press the R right here. And then it says rename Pokemon. Let's call him Um Flame Butt. Flame Butt, there we go. Rename. There we go. And then press this little button here to come off it. So now we've got Dr. Flame Butt. Um but yeah, here we go. Hello. Um so yeah, that is the first tutorial of the PokeLab. Um, so next episode, if you want to come and watch it, um, I will be doing a tutorial on Pokeballs. And then after that, we will be covering some of the Pokemon um, and the rarest Pokemon you can get and how recently they spawn. Um, so yeah, that that is the end of the video, guys. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to the new videos to come. Bye, guys.